Hello everyone, welcome to VMware and our YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain you what is storage vMotion and also I will explain you how to perform storage vMotion. Storage vMotion is nothing but a migrating a virtual machine from one storage to another storage. I mean one data store to another data store in the ESXi. So, I hope we understand what is ESXi host and how to install ESXi host, how to create a virtual machine, how virtual machines are stored in the data store and how to create a data store in the ESXi host, all these things. If you didn't watch the video, please watch the playlist uh, which I have created. Uh, the playlist name is VMware Beginners Tutorial. Okay, let's get into this. So imagine I have a two ESXi host. Okay, so and I have uh, iSCSI data store, both the ESXi host is having access to the data store. So I created a virtual machine called uh, uh, VM1, uh, let's take VM1. So when we create a virtual machine, okay, so this, there will be a folder which will get, get created in the data store. The folder name will be same as the virtual machine name. So in this example, my VM name is VM1. So my folder name will be VM1. So all the virtual machine file will be stored inside the uh, VM1 folder. Okay. So virtual machine file, nothing but uh, your uh, VMDK disk files, your log files, your uh, configuration file and everything will be stored inside this particular folder. Okay. So uh, in the vMotion video, we have understand if you want to perform a maintenance on one particular ESXi host, so we can migrate the virtual machine on the host to an another ESXi host without any downtime to the application running inside the VM, right? But what if, if you are performing a maintenance on your storage array or uh, any particular data store, okay? So the virtual machine will be stored in the data store, okay? So what is the solution, right? So as we understand, if it is a vMotion, if we are performing maintenance on the ESXi, we can directly vMotion to the other host and perform the maintenance on one host. But what if, if you are performing on the uh, your data store, right? Imagine I have another data store, uh, which is coming from a uh, different uh, storage array, or maybe you consider uh, it is coming from different uh, iSCSI server. Uh, let's name that uh, data store as iSCSI data store 02. So I'm going to perform maintenance on uh, iSCSI data store 1 uh, server or iSCSI uh, this uh, storage array, okay? iSCSI storage array 1. So if I perform, how can we migrate a virtual machine file to this data store to another data store? Okay, so to migrate the virtual machine from one data store to another data store is called storage vMotion. To migrate the virtual machine from one host to another host is called vMotion. To migrate the virtual machine files from one data store to another data store is called storage vMotion. So considering this both host should have access to the another data store as well. Okay, so migrate the virtual machine files from this particular data store which is iSCSI data store 01202 okay um, it need not be a storage maintenance as well imagine you deployed on virtual machine on your uh, local data store which is attached to the ESXi uh, host okay but if you want to make use of uh, vSphere features such as uh, vSphere DRS, vSphere HA and uh, uh, vMotion all these things uh, one of the requirement is uh, having a shared storage so what if, if you want to migrate your virtual machine from local data store to the uh, shared data store because uh, a local data store if that particular disk is failed on the ESXi host then we may lose the virtual machines right so that is one of the other use cases. So when we initiate the storage vMotion, so all the virtual machine file will get copied in the iteration basis. So it will start copy the virtual machine file. Once the final copy has been done, so virtual machine write will be redirected to the new data store and uh, it will clean up the uh, the source data store cleanup means it will delete all the files from the uh, iSCSI data store 01 and all the files will be transferred to iSCSI uh, data store 02. Let's see in action. So I have a virtual machine which is stored in my local data store which is local data store 2. Okay, so uh, it is running on the ESXi host 02. The 
it is only having access to the 0 2 I cannot migrate it to uh, 0 1 because it is stored in the local data store okay so I also have uh, I have created a new ISKC data store uh, which is a shared storage uh, between uh, both my ESXA host okay so before we migrate it let's see the uh, folder structure in my local data store so this is the local data store where my uh, windows vm is stored there so as i said when we create the virtual machine there will be a folder um, which will be same name as the virtual machine name will be get created on all the virtual machine file uh, like vmware vmx uh, vmdk uh, vmx file all these files will be stored under that folder okay so let's uh, migrate this virtual machine windows 01 to iscsi data store so to migrate right click click on migrate so first option is change compute resource only so if you want to perform a storage vmotion like migrate from one esxa host to another esxa host we can choose this but if you want to migrate the storage option select the second option change storage only this helps us to migrate the virtual machine from one data store to another data store click on next so select the data store where we want to migrate this particular virtual machine files to so i am going to migrate it to iscsi data store okay click on next ensure we have the enough space on the destination data store so the virtual machine is going to and it is going to migrate it to my iscsi data store click on finish so it will start uh, migrating the virtual machine you can see the task like relocate virtual machine has been going on so it start uh, copying the uh, virtual machine file from the local data store to the iscsi data store okay so we'll see as of now it is in the local data store my uh, task is going it uh, okay so my relocate virtual machine task has been completed let's validate so i can refresh now i can see my virtual machine is stored in the iscc data store 01 okay so the task is completed let's validate the virtual machine files are stored here click on the iscc data store so before that we ensure that uh, the files the virtual machine files are uh, deleted in uh, the old data store which is local data store 2 so you can select that particular data store click on files so here in this case uh, it should not exist actually so it should also delete the vm folder as well but in this case what happened i created one subfolder uh, called iso image where i want to store the files so i can see the virtual machine files are moved to the iscc data store and it got deleted from the old data store okay yes so in the virtual machine uh, if you click on virtual machine and data store we can see that iscsi the data store for the virtual machine is iscsi data store that's it i hope uh, this video helps you to understand what is storage vmotion and how to perform storage vmotion hope this is uh, informative for you please please do support the channel you can click on uh, subscribe button and also you can click on bell icon to get the notification thank you so much Bye-bye.